Hey guys, I'm Vu. I'm going to teach you how to log into Okta with an Active Directory account. We will do this by installing an Okta Active Directory agent on your Windows Server. So you will need a Windows Server and you will need Active Directory on that server. There's a link to my guide below if you need help setting up a Windows Server. First off, we're going to log into our Windows Server. Okay, we're going to open up our server manager and then we're going to look for ADDS, which is short for Active Directory Domain Services. And then we're going to double click on that to open that up. Okay, you're going to see a bunch of servers now. What you want to do is right click on the server that you want to use to log into Okta with. So once you right click that Active Directory server, what you want to do is look for Active Directory Users and Computers. Okay, then we're going to click on the domain, and then we're going to click on users. Okay, we're going to create a test user now, which we'll use later on. We will also create a group and then add our user to the group. We now want to open up Internet Explorer on our Windows Server and download our Okta Active Directory agent. The simplest way to do this is to log into your Okta Admin Console on your Windows Server. So once you're logged into the Okta Admin Console, you can look for Directory Integrations and then look to Add Directory. In my case, I've already got an Active Directory there, so I'll just reuse that one. But you can also add another Directory Integration there. After selecting that, click Agents and then Add an Agent. You will then be directed to a page where you can actually download the Okta Active Directory Agent. Then when you're ready, you can start installing your Okta AD Agent. For our test setup that we're doing right now, we're going to do this using some of the default settings that are inside Okta. So you'll be clicking Next and Install and most of the steps coming up. Do take note of the service user though, because if you're creating more agents in the future, or adding more agents in the future, you will need to use that service account again. Okay, this is where you will put your Okta tenant in. I'm using an Okta developer account, so I'm going to use the preview option here. Once you click next, a window will pop up and then you'll be prompted to log in with your Okta administrator user account. If you had multi-factor enabled on your admin account, you may be prompted for your multi-factor. In my case, it's Okta Vertified. Okay, a pop-up will pop up with the Okta AD agent asking for permissions. Click allow access when you're ready. Okay, the installation will now finalize itself. Okay, done. You're all set with the installation of the agent. Let's import our test users from Active Directory into Okta. We'll be able to automate and tweak some of these settings in the Okta admin console later on. Yep. Now let's go test it. Notice that we're using our Active Directory username here. Success, you're all set. 
optionally, we can actually configure some settings in Okta for Active Directory, which will allow us to automate some more things like user importing, user matching, and also what we call just-in-time provisioning, which allows you to provision users on the fly without having to import them into Okta first. Let's schedule user imports. This is how we would configure automatic user matching. The role of the user matching is to check if there's a match with an existing user within Okta. We can use the auto confirm exact match or partial match, depending on how sensitive we want the matching to be. This is how we would configure just-in-time provisioning. Just-in-time provisioning can create and update users just as they're logging in.